I challenge Shyway to do the sloth challenge. No jumping, sprinting, or sliding. I jumped. Fuck. But there's a catch. While Shyway is so focused on not breaking the rules, I'm secretly hoping he does because I have a theory. If we can push the master of movement all the way to his breaking point, we'd get to see the precise moment when instincts kick in, bringing us one step closer to answering the question. When should you jump, sprint, or slide? And as a bonus, something crazy happened at the end of the game that's never happened to me before. Oh my god. So, when should you jump, sprint, and slide? Well, off spawn, you definitely should be sprinting. And you really don't want to stop until you know there's danger lurking around the corner. Like right there, dumbass. Let's see how Shyway's doing. He's pushed out decently enough and he's backing up smartly. But wait, he broke the rules. He jumped. Well, he did a step jump and we're gonna allow that. Step jumps are not being used effectively by me and I need to get better at that. That's why we have Shyway here to understand when he is doing that. Right here would be a good time to hop up there and get a better grenade in the laundry, but we end up going around anyways and Shyway hits a perfect grenade behind me. But when you have the low ground like this, you wanna hug the walls next to you. Isn't that right, Shyway? Shall we? See, when you're in the open like I am right here, you should be sprinting from cover to cover. I'm gonna try and flank driveway. Now, Shyway is fighting for his life right now, and if I would have been sprinting, I'm just taking my time. Rest assured, though, the sloth strategy is strong. Well, it doesn't really take much, you just have your reticle always at the ready. And lucky for us, Shyway's shots are better than his comms, and he's easily able to take down this trash without telling me. Now, pay attention to our trash right here. Look at him jump in the open. Why are you jumping right there? You don't need to, it's unnecessary. Same with this guy. So, where should you jump on this map? Right here. Dodds, why are you telling us about a simple step jump? Well, it's what comes with it. See, when you step jump, you're silent, and it allows you to get a better angle. This got Shyway an easy kill, but it led him to the moment we've all been waiting for. One shot, see? I jumped. Okay. Yes, he broke the rules, but this is why I challenged him to do this. Let's take a closer look. He has cover low, body level, and high. He knows his enemy is one shot. If he can find an angle that puts his head in an unpredictable spot, then he can get this kill, and the only way to do that is to jump. But unfortunately, Tom Brady threw a grenade his way. Now, while Shyway's over there dying, I'm over here getting the hill, and I need to be careful right now. I need to not reveal my position, so there's no need for me to jump. But there is a need for me to create Strauf. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Crouch strafe, you know what I mean. So while we're dying, Shyway's spawning, and he gets some excellent team shots here. Nice, nice, nice. Problem is, we don't know where the enemy is spawning. One reason to sprint is to block enemy spawns. And if Shyway would have sprinted back to PD, we probably could have blocked it, but instead you saw me spawn at C. Now the enemies could be coming from any direction. So we just spawned, rockets are coming, and we need to get to the hill what soon. The fuck? Coming from hologram. Unfortunately, it's too late, and that callout's not good enough. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get there in time. This is the problem with the sloth strategy. You're too slow most of the time. I mean, yeah, we got rockets, but we lost the hill, and that's what matters in this game type. So how are we going to capture this next hill? Well, Shyway has the high ground, and in a second he's going to have the stalker. I, on the other hand, have the low ground, and am somehow surviving, I don't know how. Shyway will be doing what Shyway does, and jumping at the right time. Watch how he perfectly executes a step jump to get him the angle he needs. Shortly after that, I do what I do best, and that is get shot in the wide open, and then beat down in the back. Trade this shotgun and the stalker down back seat. First off, look how far he slides out. Not only does this prevent him from having his reticle at the ready, but it exposes him long enough for my teammate to get a few shots on him as well. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that's not how you effectively slide. And then we of course died because we're trash. But we're in a decent position here. Let's go over to Shyway's perspective so you can see how the sloth strategy works effectively. In this situation, you might be thinking I need to sprint to take cover, but actually we have all the cover we need. It's more about timing the team shots. When he says, I'm with you. that's your cue to push. Nice. Nice top, bottom. Nice. Ultimately, it was that missed slide earlier and the perfectly timed team push that allowed us to get here. Three stairs. Nice. But that doesn't matter, because guess what? Good old Dodds died three times in a row and basically gave them the next hill. But what really concerns me is, well, we made Shyway jump again. Now, I consider myself an expert on not jumping, but as far as when you should jump, this is the guy you want to watch. He's already broken the rules once, but little does he know he's about to break them again. Let's see why. I jumped. Fuck. I jumped twice by accident. Now let's take a closer look and see what actually went down. This is a high pressure situation. He has that guy one shot. Problem is he's one shot too, but look at the instincts. As the guy throws the grenade, he knows he needs to jump out of the way because if he doesn't, he'll get his feet caught on the stairs and then probably die. The lesson here, if you're one shot, it's okay to jump, but make sure it's to cover. I've jumped twice by accident. 
Now let's cut him some slack. Without that jump, we maybe don't remain in the hill, and then we maybe don't capture this hill, but because he was able to live long enough, I'm able to push in and then finish the hill off. There we go, that was huge. Now we're feeling pretty good in game, right? We just tied it up. Yeah, Shyway jumped a couple times, but it's okay. We'll forgive the guy. And we should because he's about to go on an incredible killing spree all done through sloth. Just kidding. It's not incredible at all, but it's incredibly simple. Look at this guy just hopping around, unsure of what to do. No problem for a sloth or a turtle. Perfect shots on the balcony. Now we're looking for the flank and he doesn't even have to be fast for this. Perfect grenade to the side, and now we're just looking for the cleanup. This guy has absolutely no clue what's behind him, and just like that, we get control of the map. But things don't always go as planned. Sensor ready. Stay in the hill. I got you. One spawn PD, another one tires, another one in hill. Now it's absolutely imperative that I stay alive right here, and if you've seen the Sloth series, you know this is one of my favorite spots in this map. Oh god. Oh! <laughs> So after we take out that trash right there, we really need to think about where this hill is going to be in reference to our teammates. It's in the middle of the map, so we're in an opportunity to pinch the enemy. Little did we know, it was us that was about to get pinched. I hate moments like these. It's tough. You feel like you're doing everything you can, but you just keep losing, keep dying, and you just can't find a way out. Nice. We can just hold C down for a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna try and make that my priority here. We got rockets coming though. When in doubt, follow the foliage. Just focus on the fundamentals. Use a step jump right here and then you can get the rockets. Yeah, I got rockets. Sometimes all it takes though is just one little moment, one little play. Oh, one shot on my X, he has rockets. Yeah, he's the one. <laughs> you see that? He just like jumped and shot the wall. Like. <laughs> Now we might be laughing now. I'm gonna help our teammate control C here. I got stalker. But little did we know, things were gonna get a whole lot worse before they got better. Dude, in tires. Tires. When the universe insists on throwing you curveballs, yeah, I'm trying to get C here. It's time to channel your inner sloth. See, the sloth strategy—it's—it's it's my personal safety net for chaotic times like these. Nice, nice. The genius of the sloth strategy is its simplicity. It throws you back into the good old days, making you play Halo Infinite as if it's Halo 3. It's just you, your gun, and the enemy. No fireworks, no drum rolls, no crazy movement, just slow, methodical gameplay. Yeah. I shot it myself. There's one shot in the hill. Oh, we gotta get, we gotta contest that, we gotta contest that. I can't. Oh, I know, fuck. <sighs> Lady and gentlemen, the pressure is mounting and the thickness is in the air as the stakes have never been higher. You've been with me through the ups and downs, the triumphs and the blunders. We've learned a little bit about when you should jump, sprint, and slide, but now we must put everything together. And as the enemy converges on us, Rockets one shot in ATM. the shot in ATM. seconds tick down with alarming speed. Now the temptation is to rush to try and snatch victory from the jaws of defeat, but there's wisdom in the old saying, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. See, speed off often breeds mistakes, recklessness, but smoothness, deliberation. That's the key to success. Yeah, dude, like they just freely rocket both of our teammates. So let's see, it's do or die time. This is our final chance, our defining moment. Will the sloth and turtle carry us through into Onyx or will we fall just short of the mark? Let's find out. B. One's back to you, back B. Got him. Nice, nice, nice. On the planner, on the planner. I'm here. Nice. I'm gonna step back for a second. Yep. Fires. Fires in heaven. Fires in one shot. Oh, we gotta hop in. Fires still one shot. We gotta hit in the hill. It's zero. It's at zero. Oh my god. Oh my god. No fucking way. Dude. Tell me, we got this. Tell me, we got this. Tell me, we got this. Number B stairs. <gasps> oh my god. We have to win, dude. We have to win. Have to win. Nice, nice, nice. What? what? One shot in the hill. Got him. Another one weak. Another one weak in the hill. Got him. Yep. And then come from ATM. Hear that? Looking. Yeah, purple street. 
Centurity, can you get in the hill for a second? He stairs, he stairs. I am one shot. Oh my god, I'm cracked. Rockets up, rockets are up. Okay. One stop A, one stop A. Just putting covering fire down. Yes. Watching driveway, I'm watching driveway, I don't see anything. Laundry, laundry, two, 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 two. I'm stalling him, I'm stalling him. Okay, I tried, I tried, yeah, I tried. Work, work. Let's go! Oh my no god! Oh my god, that's actually sick. How the fuck did we win that? Yeah, holy crap. I don't think I've ever won a game with zero seconds on the clock.